My name is Virginia Weringa and I'm an artist. I've been an artist for a long time. One of the things I really like to draw is trees. I'm standing by a tree in my backyard and one of the things I like about this tree is all the beautiful bark. And you can see the branches and you can see the branches from the trees behind us too. You can also see that it's very, 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 very tall. This is a painting by a friend of mine and it is one that I really like uh, because it shows all the parts of the trees. You can see the roots, you can see the trunk, you can see the limbs, you can see the branches, and you can see the twigs. And it's blue. Why not? You can also see the shadows on the side of the tree, so it does make it look kind of round, and there's light blue highlights on the other side of the tree. It's just a really wonderful painting. This is a painting by another friend of mine, and what I really like about this one is that it's looking up from the ground. You can see that strong trunk going all the way toward the sky, and out of it come all the branches. And instead of painting every single leaf, she just put areas of color so you can kind of assume that there are leaves. And it's one of my favorite paintings ever. It hangs in my kitchen. There's a painting I just finished, and it's about trees in the fall on a sunny day. I love doing trees with sun on them because you put sun on one side and darkness on the other, and you can kind of think, see that they're round. And it was fun putting on all those leaves too. This is a little black and white drawing that I did uh, of a barn and then of the trees near it. And you can see it's mostly branches on this one. This is a photo that I love the reflections on the water. I really enjoy the shadows of, of the trees on the path. In this one, a friend took this photo and I asked her if I could use it as an inspiration for a painting. She said I could. And here is the painting I did. From I was a teacher for a long time. And when I would teach kids about trees, if you just ask a little kid to draw a tree, a lot of times they'll draw like a box because that's the bottom of the tree. And they think, oh, there's a bunch of leaves on top. And so that's kind of a, a shorthand version of a tree without really thinking about the parts. And sometimes what they'll do is they'll draw that box and they'll say, wait a minute there are branches on there. And so then they make branches coming out of the little box. But one of the things that they forget is how tall trees really are. I'm gonna do a drawing with some Prismacolor art sticks. They're like the insides of colored pencils, only just solid color. And I'm gonna take, I think I'll start with the black one, and I'm gonna do a tree and if I do this, then you won't be able to see it right side up. So I'm going to do it upside down. Um, I'm going to pull on this just like it's a, like I'm drawing sideways. And you can see this looks like the dark side of a tree, and this looks like the lighter side, maybe the maybe the um, place where the sun is shining. I'm going to take the side of my art stick and put it just like that. You can do this with crayons too. And I'm going to start making a branch by pressing down just on the one side of that. And here I'll turn that into a, a limb. And I'm going to fill it in and make some nice bark. And now that I've got a limb, I'm going to add some branches. And then after the branches, then I'm going to add some twigs. And remember when we were in the backyard and we looked and saw how tall that tree was? You've got to remember that trees are really, really tall. And if you add all the branches and the twigs, you're going to wind up with a pretty nice looking tree. And then if you want to do another one, I think I'm going to add something over here. And then um, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to use brown this time. And I'm going to make it a little higher up on the paper. And I'm going to make it a little skinnier. And since it's higher up on paper, 
well, I'm gonna add some, some roots too. Um, since it's higher up on the paper, and I'm gonna make it darker on the side, just like this, why don't I add some brown on that, why not? Hey, that's kind of fun. Um, and I didn't get any roots on this one, so I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I just have brown and black going right now. And I want to see where these trees are. And after I get done adding some branches and twigs on this one, then... Since it's higher up on the paper, it's going to make that tree look, it, look like it's farther back. It's going to be by the lake. And here's my lake. It's going to go skip, skip, skip behind my tree. Skip, 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 skip 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 and there's the start of my lake but at the end of the lake is where the trees are growing out of so let me just kind of fill in my lake a little bit and this is where the trees are growing they are growing out of the grass and there might have to be a couple of clouds in the sky, and I think they're going to be blue clouds. Why not? Dark blue clouds. Ooh. I'm going to put them closer. Where the ground ends and the sky begins, or the lake ends and the sky begins, that's called the horizon. And so I put skinnier clouds closer to the horizon. Let's see. What else does this need? I think I'm going to make it a little darker. So once you get the kind of the skeleton of your tree in here and, and during the winter, trees do kind of look like skeletons of themselves. Maybe you're not ready to see the end of the end of summer. Winter. Maybe you want to add some leaves onto your trees. You can certainly do that. Let's see. Okay. There's my light coming in over this way. Oh, and if the light's coming that way, then maybe there's going to be a shadow of the tree going this way. So there's the shadows. I'm going to make this side a little darker on this one. I can fiddle with this for a long time. But I think I'm just going to add a couple of leaves just for fun because I'm not done with summer and fall yet. And like that painting that I showed you, I'm not drawing each individual leaf. I am putting areas of color. Ooh, this is going to be a nice yellow tad. And if it's fall, then some of these things are going to wind up on the ground. And maybe I will draw a couple individual ones. So. I can play with this a little bit longer or I can just finish this and you can do your own. So thanks for paying attention to this. I hope you have fun drawing trees.